Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala ali wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habatifillah One of our brothers asked about interacting with the people of desires interacting with Ahl al-Bid'ah and that they are new to the da'wah and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has favored them to move away from extreme Sufism, extreme tasawwuf and have the ni'mah minni amillah that is a, 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 a favor from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from amongst his many many favors to Barak wa ta'ala and with that being the case uh, the brother asked how to interact with his old companions the people he used to associate with and some of them have extreme extreme bid'ah that they've moved away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's deen or in fact that they have many things that they involve themselves in and that requires many many details but however one of the things that's very important is to realize as the scholars mention and make a difference between those people who call to bid'ah and those people who uh, are from the general Muslims, from the awam. And that the scholars distinguish because of the call, the caller to bid'ah, this is a person that means that they have something of knowledge and they're calling and distorting the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whereas the general people, you deal with them in accordance, and as we talked about some of these details in our study of a nasiha about the dawab and the criterion for hajjim, that looking at the masad and the mufasid, the masad and the mufasid, or the benefits and the harms for the person being made hijra of, and the, uh, the harms and the benefits for the one making the hajr of someone else. So all of those things must be considered uh, when determining how you're going to interact with people who may have extreme bid'ah from the past. But perhaps there may be some benefit in still having some interaction with them if you have knowledge and you can have a positive effect on them. Meaning not that you're necessarily going to change them, but just that you may have something positive in keeping them upon their Islam and keeping them upon their khair and reminding of the sunnah of the Prophet wasallam. So all of those things, they require uh, uh, analyzing and looking into when we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good of our Muhammad